welcome to the Match Day Vlog YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe because it really does, really does make a difference to the channel. We're here at St. Mary's Stadium and me and Jack, we've just come out of the fan forum here at St. Mary's Stadium uh, where Martin Siemens, Ralph Hudson, who will basically be impounding questions to uh, a select group of season ticket holders. Um, how did you find the questioning in there? I mean, I have to say, I think a lot of the questions were expected. We talked a lot about the itch in North and how the fans have been treated. Talked about the transfer window. Um, we, we talked about playing things, but do you think the questions were answered well? Do you know what? It's hard when it's um, you, there's no debate to it, is there? It's you give the, give a give a question, they give an answer, and that's what you're getting. Yeah. And that's great for you know for some of the questions when it gets one and done. But when you're at, when they say stuff like. Uh, changing the formation to help R R Romeo. Yeah. I thought, well, that's great that you've, that he, you're right, we got to the end of that game and he was the best player in that squad. But does that mean you've just compromised the rest of the squad? Like, right. there felt like there's a, there a few times I was like, I wish that we could just quickly ask them a back, a, another one to this. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel for what, what we got, there was a lot of answers, you know, we got a lot of good answers. Yeah. Did it explain everything? No, but did we get a lot of good answers? Yeah. I think there was there was a lot of questions in regards to the effort and the you know our players really giving a hundred percent you know you know Southampton fans travel all up and down the country supporting the club and sometimes it really feels like they maybe have given up and I I think you know we were assured that they weren't but I think that's down to maturity as well I mean if you I mean just think about when I was eighteen and I got you know beaten badly my head would go down and I think that's perhaps something that we're maybe going to see but I, 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 I mean of course they always want to go out and win but the, the issue you've got is with these young kids their heads will drop and it's about those senior players around them to pick them up and I think there's certain players in that squad like I can't see Redmond picking somebody up no. because he's also down yeah I, do you know what I mean I can't see Jan Bednarak picking up a young centre back because he's down yeah and those for experienced players that you know those younger guys are meant to rely on are they cutting it? I think that's what I got out of this. Is like it's all well and good for these for the young players, and those young players are the ones that you see. Like Livermento, definitely one of the best from last season. Brozier, best from last season. Yeah. So what does it say about these more experienced players yeah. that they're not giving? And it's I know in there they were saying you know it's hard to buy these experienced players. It's like, but the ones that we've currently got here. I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible to buy experienced players above 25 because we just don't have the budget to do it. I think it's yeah, it's a non-starter. You don't have the budget to do it and, you know, those players are in want more than anything else. I was saying to you on the way down, how many like number nines can you name in that are in this league that are proven yeah. that, you know, that we can afford you. It's just, it's just not there. Yeah. But it's, it, it's those, those players that are here, where, what are their mentality? Where, what's, what's Nathan Redmond's mentality like nowadays? It's... It must be hard for him. Yeah. I, I say, like, we, we, like when with Alex, Alex McCarthy, I'm always... Who you love. I love Alex McCarthy, and that was fantastic. He was naming shame tonight. <laughs> but, you know, how is, it's, for me, it's impossible for a keeper to find that kind of mentality back in this league again after a 9-0 loss. Same for Angus Gunn. Yeah. They had to move on. You know, there are certain players that, you know, that I think their mentality drips, and if it's in one place for so long, it's hard for them to pick up again. It's good for the new coaching staff, but I think there's just... For me, it just sounded like there was a lot of reliance on these young young kids. There is, and I think there's still business to be done in a transfer window. I mean, they did allude to the fact that they are still in the market. That's quite obvious, but certain players will be leaving. I, I did certainly pick up that from Martin Simmons. But all in all, I think we could be relatively happy with the answers that were given tonight. But, you know, the transfer window's not done. More to look forward to, really. It's, it's, Fine. it's the most animated I've seen Ralph in a while. He looked emotional. I, I have to say, when he got that question from Rob in front of us, I mean, I don't think Rob was too happy with the answer that he got, but he he definitely showed passion from what I could see. Yeah, it was too, it, with Rob in front of us and Ralph there, we almost had two completely other sides of the scale of what, yeah. what we want. Yeah. And, I'm, and I completely agree with both of them where they would be upset with the, with the question and the answer. But I think, you know, the way that Ralph spoke about it and the way his energy was here tonight, I kind of just wish we would see more of that all the time. And I think also being realistic, effectively staying in the Premier League. I mean, I know they said the ambitions were top 10 and then, you know, aim for top 10 and then talk about Europe. But on the budget that we've had, I mean, is it fair to say Ralph Hassan has done wonders and keeping us in the Premier League? I think, I think that's the way. I think yes, by the way. I think yes. And also, like we say, given the squad that we have got, I mean, we saw what would happen under Hughes and we saw under these other managers, what you were getting out of it. Yeah. And it's just, and you know, there, there's, there's a level to some of these players. So I do think Ralph gets the most out of them. I just think that most isn't 
it anymore. Yeah. Especially yeah. with a lot of the core of the squad. Yeah. Um, but you're right. They, they, I think those expectations from them. Can we just say the guy who mentioned the Champions League mm-hmm. in the Southampton fan forum? But that was mentioned. Cumin days, Potuccino days. It was. It was mentioned. But in 2022, yeah. <laughs> someone mentioned the Champions League. So I get it. We all want those European nights, and that's what we want to do. Yeah. And we, yeah. Uh, and we want to get there. And it's the guys that we spoke to tonight that will get us there. Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, there we have it. Um, the 2022 fan forum is done. Um, there's still business to be done in the transfer window, so we look forward to that. But all in all, I think we can be... It's hard to say positive or optimistic, but somewhere along those lines is what we are right now. Somewhere along the lines, is that's where we are. But me and Jack are going to go and get a burger and uh, have a chat some more about it. But we will be doing a live show tomorrow evening, uh, so join us live from 8 o'clock. Um, but as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.